My guest for today was born 19 June 1955 and of course has a bachelor's degree in political science from the University of Ibadan, 1974 to 1977. And of course he has postgraduate diploma in mass communication from Stockholm University, Sweden, 1981. From there, Yasas has a Bachelor of Law from the University of Jos in the year 1987. He proceeded to Nigeria Law School, Lagos, 1988. My guest for today was the former Minister of State, Federal Capital Territory, 1999 to 2001. And of course, he was the Deputy Governor of Nigeria State, 2009. My very special guest for today is a distinguished senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, representing the good people of Nasarawa North Central District, Nasarawa State, under the platform of CPC. Ladies and gentlemen, please do join me in welcoming Senator Solomon Ewoga. Sir, you are most welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, I know I may not have done justice of very Chris. I don't mean to go by well, the only correction I need to tell you is the fact that uh, I was deputy governor in '99 before I became uh, minister. But the important thing too is the fact that uh, I've had a cross-cultural upbringing. My father was in Lagos in 1946, and uh, I was there until 1963 when he came back home. And so. Uh, Yoruba, interesting, was the first language I ever spoke before I uh, had to learn a language from my grandmother and I learned Hausa uh, through tutoring. And uh, uh, I think that's it. Uh, let's say you're a legal boy, sir. Well, a <laughs> mio mo koni. Honestly, that. Yes, honestly, I was trying to like. You know, my child was very interesting because my father, when we were mature, he had the option of making us school in Lagos or making us come home. But he made a decision after some time that we should school at home because the school at home at that time was very good. It was a missionary school. And then, so we would school at home and go for holiday in Lagos. And so I had the best of two worlds. And you know, that time the railway was working. So all you need to do was cut me, throw me inside the train, and I'll be home, I'll be in Lagos. And once the holiday was over, they threw me inside the train, and I'll be in the village. So I think uh, I enjoyed it. And uh, that gives me a lot of background into what today has made me to be positively inclined towards the way Nigeria operates. Let me take you back a little bit, sir. When you were um, Minister of State for the Capital Territory, can you let us in some of um, your achievements and your challenges to this? You know, I was elected Deputy Governor and then became Minister of State of City. And uh, uh, that in itself, leaving an elected to an appointed position, was a challenging decision. But I don't regret it. Because I don't regret the actions I take. I look at it as a step to move forward. I became a Minister of State and quite a good number of things that I have done which I have great admiration for, including the issue of greening of Abuja. You know, if we started and it's coming out very well. We started the PPP project in housing, and it's coming up very well. Uh, uh, a lot of housing development. I think the last mass housing development in Abuja by the government, just as we, the PPP was taken up, that was the last stage. And we did a lot for that period. And you know, the infrastructure that has given Abuja is changing traffic profile. We are done during our time. The uh, Lincoln Apple Stadium, the stadium infrastructure, right on to uh, the, not far from Sun City Estate. The, those were meant for the athletes and all those who participated in Koja. 
those are things that we did. And then we initiated the development of ages. I was the first chair of uh, the beginning. We had identified the building, did the design. And we, at the time I left office, we were talking about software. So ages actually had been conceptualized. It was applied later on by subsequent ministers into uh, positive use. Uh, uh, so there were enterprising things that came out, you know, we just took over from the military. Yes. And so the president was ready to see that some of the ideals that had been desired for Abuja, because it was during his uh, President Obasanjo's time, when Murutala was head of state, that Abuja was conceptualized and developed. So he knew some of the background issues. How do you feel that when that thing is declared? Job, deep sense of courage. Because I never lost hope throughout the process. Because it's the party that went to court on my mind. And the party, standing by me, gave me a very strong feeling that it was not an enterprising futility. There's something that synonymous to your name, sir. When you were deputy governor, you make your impact. Yes. As a minister, you make your impact. Oh, yes, yeah. I did make my Now, yes. as a district senator of the federal government, yes, sir, what are your plans for the good people of Nasarad North Central District? What should they be expecting? Well, first and foremost, I'm a Johnny Joss cop. So I want to be, uh, to be able to understand what it takes to legislate at the Senate. It has 109 members. And I come from a minority party. The Representation of the majority party, like he says, has his own way, and we have our own say. But the observation I made in very few days I spent is that the Senate is a club of 109 people, and their relationship is based on deja vu. We know ourselves, and so if we know ourselves, then I have to be able to fit into that setting. I believe that I'm a local politician playing national politics and trying to attract as much value to my constituency as it operates nationally. So these are things that I intend to understand and do. Three, locally, also using my relationship to network value in my constituents. Finally, as much as possible, network with the system providing in my constituents. And these things will begin to manifest in the next few months in various perspectives. both in terms of relationship management and in terms of value-added program that will impact positively on my constituency. I want to use the official standard to advance the development of cooperatives in my zone. Organize cooperatives and uh, see how People who key into it and develop themselves on a repayment basis. And I'm getting in touch with component units, development partners, uh, agencies, and all those things. And sometimes some countries who advance in cooperative management. So, you know, I'm no longer new in the system that will create difficulties for me to navigate in the system. But I've already sent letters out 
and uh, uh, the people in my constituency are very expectant already. And once these letters go out, I'm going to start with a deliberate information program, meetings with my constituents. You are community personified and you are a great philanthropist. Where do you learn this one from? My father was a very, very humble person, but he was a very assertive person. My, I grew up always with people being trained in the house. There are people still in training. My last sister fully graduated long ago and she has two kids. But we still, I still have children and paying school fees while in primary school, in the house. Some of them, I don't know their parents. They just come into the house and we just assume that they are part of us. As long as uh, my father always did that until he died some years ago. My mother is still around and still carries it on. So I still pay school fees. These are things that, I mean, because, look, if it is food, you can never eat everything. I cannot sleep in all the beds I have in the house. Uh, those only issues that the human being has. Yes, sir. I have besides every successful one, they say there is a successful one. I have got a My family is splendid. Wow. I've got a very supportive family. My wife, we've been married now for 32 years. And uh, she's been everything that we want to see that you can manage a successful home. I never really worry about the house because there's somebody there to manage it. You know, you get worried when you know that nothing, but when you go home, it's all that. That's it. I think that is it. So, we have a complementary attitude to each other. Thank you so much, sir. We brought a gift to you, sir, to say thank you for being a role model, thank you for being a father. <laughs> so, what about you? <laughs> I see. Yes, sir, you may give us a song that you love so much. <laughs> Which song do I love so much? What do you say unto the Lord? What oh, do you have to say, say thank you, Lord? Alright, sir, put your hand there, sir. You got one, two, three. Thank you so much, sir.